Hello, welcome to part two of our three-part video introduction to pursuing a graduate degree in visual studies here at the Visual Studies Program, Faculty of Creative Arts, University of Malaya. My name is Simon Soon, and I'm a senior lecturer with the Visual Studies Program. In this video, we will be focusing on the two MA programs here in Visual Studies that we offer. To give you an idea, the duration of our MA program ranges from a minimum of three semesters to a maximum of six semesters. This translates to a course of study lasting from one and a half years to up to three years. How quickly you are able to finish the course really depends on how much time you put into the program. And we have two programs with different qualification requirements, criteria for graduation and course of study. These are the MA Mixed Mode and the MA Full Research. Firstly, for students without an undergraduate degree in art history or related fields of study in the humanities, such as literature, anthropology, sociology, philosophy, cultural studies, etc., our mixed mode program is designed to offer you foundational skills for doing research in the humanities. Uh, in general, students in the fine arts or studio degree are encouraged to enroll in the mixed mode program. Uh, this is because we have designed the mixed mode program to also help students coming from studio background to transition from a practice-based and technique-focused curriculum common to many art school towards a model of research that we call practice-led. Stronger emphasis is placed on how you can communicate your ideas and research discovery. Uh, and these are recognized as equally important method of demonstrating creative insight over and beyond the making of the creative work itself. Our MA Mixed Mode program is further divided into two parts. So for component one, students are initially required to complete uh, four courses. Um, of the four courses, Three of them are compulsory at this point in time. These are the methods course, the theory course, and the Malaysian art course. In addition, students can also choose to complete, uh, have to choose an elective course. Uh, the electives can be chosen from a list of subjects and they include Southeast Asian art and architecture, Southeast Asian modern art, Malaysian film studies, and while the electives are not offered every semester, uh, they are done in a rotational basis. Therefore, candidates are advised to plan their course of study carefully in consultation with our lecturers so that you don't miss out on the opportunity to sign up for the elective that you want to take. It is recommended that students enroll in the mixed mode program uh, to take two courses per semester and complete the coursework component in a year's time. Uh, that because once you complete the coursework component, you are required to then find a supervisor and work under the guidance of the supervisor to complete the thesis component. Uh, it is expected that the thesis component will take up to a year to complete. Uh, this means that we are uh, expecting you to complete your master's program within a two-year time frame. The thesis should have a word length between 20,000 to 25,000 word on a topic that has been agreed upon between the supervisor and the student. So over the course of researching and writing the thesis, uh, students are then required to uh, present the progress of their research in two defenses. Sorry, this is the right slide. The proposal defense at the beginning stage of your thesis and the candidature defense somewhere in the middle. Candidates are then required to pass both defenses before they are allowed to submit their thesis. Completed theses are sent to examiners for evaluation and the examination period could last up to three months. Uh, the award of the MA degree is conditional upon the evaluation of the examiners and the satisfactory completion of all the above requirements. Now, 
the second MA on offer is the MA for research. Candidates uh, will have to find a supervisor already and work under the guidance of the supervisor uh, to complete a thesis. Uh, in this particular uh, program, the thesis has a longer work count and the topic should be something that has been agreed upon between the supervisor and the student. So like our MA mixed mode, candidates are required to present the progress of their research at two defenses, the proposal at the beginning and the defense, the candidate defense somewhere in the middle to report on progress. <clears throat> Passing both is uh, necessary uh, in, before uh, the candidate is allowed to submit the completed thesis. In addition, uh, candidates are also required to publish one journal article alongside together with uh, his or her thesis supervisor. So we hope that you now have a better understanding of the two MA programs we currently offer. Those interested to apply, please do so at uh, the following link, apply.um.edu.my. You will be asked to register for an application account. Upon successful registration, you will be directed to an online application form. Please complete the form and upload the required documents. Some of the documents required are listed here in the slide, including a passport for size photo, proof of identity, uh, previous academic certificate and transcript, English language proficiency certificate and support letter. Additional materials that might help your application include evidences confirming your current job, research experience, sponsorship or scholarship letter, and other professional qualifications. So if you need time to gather some of these documents, please plan ahead and be mindful of the application closing date for our MA Mixed Mode program. You can find out about the closing deadline from the university's admission office website. Application to the MA Full Research Program, however, is open all year round, but you do need to first contact a potential supervisor and get them to agree to take you on as a supervisee. All right, that's all from me now. Uh, Good luck with your application. We hope to see you in class.